Um, we've seen, uh, I'll say, a conflict of, um, of uh, uh, based on uh, a territorial tension between uh, crimin criminal gangs, gangsters, who are trying to uh, control part of the city of Copenhagen. The issue uh, uh, that involve um, uh, criminal immigrants in, 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 in this type of organized crime, it's much, much deeply rooted to the social, cultural, uh, uh, and the history of, of them. I, I think, yes, if we... We have two, two types of immigrants. You have the workers who were okay. promised to come and uh, rebuild Denmark, uh, uh, and you have the refugees who came because they were persecuted in their native countries. But for the Danes, they require from both groups to be well behaved, integrated, uh, rather assimilated uh, um, into the Danish society. So the, the requirement from the Danish society upon, on the shoulders of the immigrants, it's much larger than the immigrants' capacity. The Danish government has radical views, has conservative views on, on how to integrate or assimilate its immigrants or, or minorities. And, uh, and the, 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 the heart of the government and the establishment is pushing the, the immigrants. The resistance will be even harder because Nobody wants to give up an identity, his identity. And when you feel that you uh, in a, that you're born in a country, but your prime minister really do not respect your roots and your history, you, you feel alienated. Denmark is a different state. If we uh, look uh, to, to upon Denmark before the cartoon crisis and to Denmark in the post cartoon crisis, um, Denmark has changed a lot on its own choice. Uh, it decided to side uh, to the notion of either with us or against us. With this type of politics, it is actually very counterproductive because when you uh, try to um, promise people uh, freedom and, and, and human, humane treatment, and basically you do the exact opposite in the name of law, then the law itself becomes an outlaw.